process. In 1972, we were in a war zone in, Af in, uh, in Northern Ireland with 500 people, including 100 soldiers killed. Um, and that work led on, has led on over many years and many troubles and many, you know, huge amounts of violence has eventually led to um, the penetration of the provisional IRA to such an extent that they could be considered defeated and eventually came to the negotiating table. The Labour leader Ed Miliband has said he's utterly confident that the party acted with complete integrity in its dealings with the Coal Bank and its disgraced former chairman Paul Flowers. Mr Flowers, a former Labour councillor, sat on the party's business advisory group. He is to be questioned by the police about allegations that he bought Class A drugs. Downing Street has denied that David Cameron is ditching his commitment to the environment because of concerns about rising energy bills. An unnamed Tory has told the Sun newspaper that the Prime Minister instructed his aides to get rid of all this green crap. Network Rail's net debt remains at more than £30 billion and the company's admitted that it's failing to meet punctuality targets. Announcing its half-year results for the period April to September, Network Rail said performance had fallen behind its targets as the company struggles to get more and more... OK, so that's the news today, Thursday, 21st of November. Don't sound great, does it, truth be told. Question. Should we respect somebody purely because of the uniform they wear? What do you know?